hello hello welcome back to channel claire i am so happy that you guys clicked on this video now as you can see this is part three <laughs> of basically um amber heard letting johnny know her entire plan to take him down all right but before we start getting into that i watched a movie this weekend called deep water all right starring ben affleck and this new chick with whom I've seen someone mention in the comments, her name is Anna DeArmas, okay? I'm probably butchering that. Anna DeArmas. Her and Ben Affleck are in this movie, Deep Water, that's on Hulu, all right? And someone said in the comments that Anna, De, um, Anna DeArmas got the role of Marilyn Monroe in this new movie that's coming up, okay? This is a role, apparently, that Amber Heard really wanted. So as I'm sitting here, like, watching this movie, Deep Water, this weekend, I'm like, why does this girl look so fucking familiar? Like, why does she look so familiar to me? She looks just like Amber Heard. She looks just like Amber Heard in this movie with dark hair. And it was the most eeriest thing in the world. And I need you guys... To go watch this movie to let me know if I'm tripping or not because I swear to god I saw Amber Heard with dark hair and it was just a role that I could really see Amber doing playing like this manipulative mind fuck because that is who she is in her real life and um basically the movie the premise is of like this couple this rich guy who's like really weird and like his wife they have like some type of open arrangement and she's mind fucking him like she has like all these lovers and whatnot and he's he's she's doing it in front of um ben affleck her husband and it's just really weird really really weird not really sure the point of it not really sure of the what i'm supposed to have gotten from it i'm sure there's some in-depth explanation film study that i was supposed to have gotten i have no clue what the fuck i got from the movie other than i feel like Anna de Armas. First of all, where the fuck did she come from? Like, where where did she come from? Like, I feel like she came like out of the blue. I need to figure out what other movie did she come from because I feel like she's Amber Heard reincarnated. Like, just Burnett. It's really weird. So let me see. Anna de Armas. Like, what did she start in? What was her first movie? So she's Cuban and Spanish. Okay. She, like, what is her film history? I guess she was in Knock Knock, Knives Out, No Time to Die. Okay, so that's like a, I think that's a James Bond movie. So she's been in some stuff, but like, I just feel like now all of a sudden I'm hearing her name a lot. And so then when I was watching the movie, it just kind of was really uncanny. So just go watch the movie. It's very kind of similar to the mind fuck that Amber Heard is in her real life. And then Anna de Armas just looks like Amber Heard to me, just brunette. So let me know what you think. Come back, comment. If I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I can accept that, all right? So then the next thing I kind of wanted to go over was the fact that on Friday... I was on Twitter and I saw Amber Heard post this picture of her saying like bring it on Friday and there was like all these people commenting like oh like you must be so happy da 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 like big win in Virginia and so I made a quick little video because I'm like what the fuck is going on what is some big win for Amber like what is going on like please somebody fill me in I didn't really have time to look into it because I was working. So, very nice people in the comments, let me know what the fuck was up. And I'm not really that good when it comes to, like, legal jargon and all that bullshit and stuff. So, like, I love when people can break it down for me and simplify it. And so, yes, this very nice person commented, kind of telling me what it was happened, alright? So... This is Amber's good news, which really, I mean, is it good news for her in a way? I guess so, because she has a chance of getting this $100 million, which is 
so sickening to think about how like law could literally fuck Johnny so badly to the point where this fe- this woman who has literally done nothing to deserve a hundred million dollars worth of anything can lie on his goddamn name, ruin his life, and then have him pay her a hundred million fucking dollars that she can live off of for the rest of her life. Do you understand how fucking screwed that would be? Do you understand? Okay, so let me just read this. So um, the person's account is called Been There. Very cute. Um, so they said, Depp asked for a summary judgment on the case for $100 million. However, he has asked also that all of her photographic evidence be thrown out because she failed to provide the evidence in a timely manner. So that's a whole other thing. So Amber provided these pictures she was supposed to provide to Johnny's team, and they were fucking corrupted. So even in this situation, Amber, you can't even play fair. Like, you don't, you can't play fair. You always have to work around and have to try to do all this sneaky shit to get your fucking way. And lie and scheme and find fucking loopholes and this, that, another, and blah, blah, blah. You're the most untrustworthy person I have ever, you have no fucking integrity. None. You can't play fair. You don't know how to play fucking fair. You low blow Johnny, you fucking lie, you make up shit, you distort evidence. Like, you're a horrible human being. Let me finish this. Alright, so, however, he also asked that all of her photographic evidence be thrown out because she failed to provide the evidence in a timely manner so that Depp's forensic team could analyze the photos for manipulation or for dates not matching her claims, etc. to check out all the shit that she's provided that she has volumes and volumes of evidence. She has so much evidence, the most solid case of evidence per her lawyer of domestic violence, and your shit's fucking corrupted. Okay. All right. Cool. So this person says, it's going to be a big deal because if her photos are thrown out, or she can't prove they were taken when she claimed the abuse. She has only one witness to any incident, her sister, Whitney, whose testimony has been discredited by Whitney's work colleagues and boss, who all reported that it was Amber who was the abuser and not Johnny Depp. I thank you to this person. Thank you so much, Ben, there. Um... And that the incident in question, A.H. claims she hit J.D. to prevent him from pushing Whitney down the steps, which we know is not true, is why Whitney moved out of the penthouse. She had her whole fucking crew set up in these goddamn penthouses. She had her friends in there. She had her sisters in there. They were bopping around from different cities. They were bopping around going to Johnny's Island, bopping around going to Coachella, bopping around going here, going there. She was living the fucking life. And this is what you decided to do. You had your friends and family on Johnny's fucking payroll, like fucking chilling, living in a penthouse, multiple penthouses on his dime. What more could you have wanted? Like, what more? Like, what did you do all of this for, Amber? Like, for what? What more could you have wanted? You just wanted to take this man's money and say, fuck him and like, send him off? Like, I don't get it. I truly don't get it. And, uh, hmm. Been there also says, I believe that Depp's bodyguard was also there during the incident. If it is the same incident, they reported that um, her threw her purse at Depp, punched him, and hit him in the back of the hand, in the back of the head with a can of Red Bull. She's so fucking violent. And speaking of violence, if you have not heard, I, I don't know how you haven't heard, Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock on national TV during the middle of the Oscars. <laughs> People are saying online, like, way to go into airy season, like, just smacking the shit out of people. But I'm just like, I would have never, ever, nobody could tell me that, like, Will Smith would, like, do some shit like this. Just go up, walk up on the fucking stage and smack the shit out of Chris Rock and and turn her and walk away. You could not, like... 
what is going on with the world, y'all? Like, what is going on with the world? Like, here on this channel, I do not condone violence. I do not feel like you should put your hands on anybody else unless somebody is putting their hands on you and you're having to defend yourself or somebody is harming somebody else and you're needing to help in a situation like that. Other than that, I truly do believe that we can use our words to fight. I feel like what would have been a better situation is if maybe, you know, once he won his award, because he won like right after that, um, he could have got up there and be like, you know, and by the way, like did his speech and everything, said his thank yous and da da da, and be like, by the way, as the music is playing and telling him to like get the fuck off the stage, <laughs> he could have been like, you know, and by the way, Chris Rock, I really don't fucking appreciate you talking mad shit about my wife. You know she's sensitive about that shit, and I don't fucking appreciate it. Thank you. Don't do that shit again. Much love. Bye. People would have respected that so much more, but now it's a situation where people are wanting his Oscar to be taken away. People are feeling like he should be arrested and, um, you know, charged and whatnot. And ultimately, I don't think Chris Rock has decided to file charges yet, but we have to admit, that's humiliating. Like, humiliating and Will Smith embarrassed himself I mean Jada I saw definitely that she was uncomfortable with the joke she was very upset like I don't think that what Chris Rock did was cool like I don't think that it was a funny joke I don't really understand where he was coming from with that but you just can't put your hands on anybody like you just you can't you just cannot do that like you can't do that and especially in that space so I don't know what's going to come of that it shocked the hell out of me like when I saw that I was like oh my god I was trying to uh, watch like every video and then when I saw the uncensored version I was like oh my god and he was like yelling from his seat like keep my name my wife's name out your mouth like I was like this is the messiest shit I have ever witnessed and then you just see Lupta in the background looking like oh my god is this for real happening is this a skit like is this all planned like what is going on you just see her mind like working in the background madness madness but like I feel like I needed to bring that up because we're talking about on the channel domestic violence and violence and people putting their hands on one another so I felt like it was something that I needed to bring up and talk about and say, you know, that I believe that nobody should be putting their hands on another person unwarranted, you know? Yes, people say fucking stupid ass shit, but you know, match that fucking energy and say some stupid fucking shit back to embarrass their fucking ass, I guess. You know, like that maybe would have been the better, like equal, you know, the equal reaction for what took place, I guess. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm getting all off topic. I also wanted to finish the audio, which we haven't even got to. Um, but pretty much Amber, I guess, this whole, um, the summary that, um, the judgment for the summary was thrown out. So basically Amber's gonna have a chance to talk about, like, have her day in court and get this counterclaim of a hundred fucking million dollars. And I, I just, this judge is already starting to rub me the wrong way. And I'm just like, what is going on? Like, I'm still confident. I'm still on the side of what is right will, you know, prevail. And he will come out on top because even us going into this video and audio, like, the evidence is all there. Amber can do all the sneaky shit and manipulation and maneuvering and paying people off that she wants to fucking do in the background but facts are facts we have you on fucking audio saying that you don't feel like you should separate if you're fucking physical and that you have put your hands on johnny multiple times admittedly have said it yourself uncoerced on but video audio you fucking so do all your fucking maneuvering do all your shit it's coming you're still going to get it like you're not going to be able like people can only get away with doing shit but for so fucking long only but for so fucking long and that shit catches up to you and it seems to me the longer that it takes to get to you the bigger that shit is when it comes 
think about that shit. The longer it fucking takes, it typically is fucking worse, that karma. Because it took a minute to build up on your fucking ass and blow your ass back. So let's get into this audio. Because, like, I just had this. So at this point, Amber is basically saying, like, saying, oh, this stuff was planted. I have all this evidence. Like, nobody's going to believe you. I have corroborated evidence with, like, my friends, text messages, pictures, da da da, bullshit, bullshit. And Johnny's like, you know what, bitch? All right, I got you. Let me call these people. I'm about to take care of this shit real quick. Let's get into it. Actually, I need a drink of water. Hold on. Okay, I had to get my drink. Let me start this. All right, listen, here's the... All right, fine. You, you believe what you believe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call these people. I'm going to take care of this. See what the fuck is going on. I will get back to you. Otherwise, listen, as far as I can tell right now, it sounds like you want to go to court. You want to fuck this up real bad. You want to fuck it up real bad. I just want to clear my name. I've been telling all the lawyers this from the beginning. If your lawyers do this... You cannot clear up your name now. No. Don't let them lie to you. 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 Bitch, you're the only one who has been lying to him. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them lie. The people that are trying to have his back and clear all this bullshit up that you have put and thrown and created in his lab. Don't let them lie to him. You are the liar. You are the bold-faced liar. You are the one who is literally on this phone trying to, like, manipulate this man's head yet again, as you've done for umpteen years. Mind fuck him. In the middle of your divorce, in a temporary restraining order, you are the one who is the liar. How does she not say that? How does she get the audacity to let to say to somebody, don't let this person lie to you? while you are the one lying to this person like derangedness deranged beginning i only have my integrity and did y'all just hear that i only have my integrity you in integrity should be yards away from each other you guys are not even the same stratosphere the word integrity and amber heard should never be said like near each other at all there's no integrity in this woman there's no integrity in this woman there's no loyalty in this woman there is no type of moral value in this woman for you to sit up here and make up shit about a person to ruin their life to this effect like that they've put your hands on you rumors of S.A. And you're going to say all you have is your integrity. I have said only this from the very beginning. I only have my integrity. And the, the unfortunate thing is... What about mine? You step further. What about mine? Right. She seems to... What about mine? What about my integrity, Amber? The fact that you are sitting out there blowing my name the out into the water as fucking get. Johnny Depp. And you want to talk about your integrity? Nobody knows who the fuck you are, Amber, in the grand scheme of things. When it comes to you and Johnny Depp, you're known because you were connected to him. Nobody really gave a fuck and were, was, you know, calling for you like that prior to that. You did a little stuff here and there, which I have also seen that she is in this new movie. She was on set of, like, this movie called In the Fire some bullshit like that who is giving her jobs who is giving her jobs who is wanting to work with this woman knowing her history knowing these things about her hearing these tapes and she's on a whole ass fucking movie set it better be a fucking hallmark movie i swear to god like if this is an actual like studio film like from a studio I'm going to be highly fucking pissed. Like, this better be a Hallmark goddamn Lifetime movie. This better not be... Because who in their right mind? And she's looking all happy and jolly on set. Like, if I were one of her co-stars, I'd be like, I do not want to work with her. She's going to hold up and make up some shit about me. I don't want to work with her. She's she's clinically insane. Like, she's off her rocker. I sat there and heard her lie on the fucking audio. I don't want to work with her. 
what are these people doing? Like, it's so strange. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced. Besides Will Smith going up and slapping Chris Rock in the face. That was highly bizarre. But she don't give a fuck about Johnny's reputation and his integrity and everything that he's built over the years in his established career. She can give a fuck about that. It's all about Amber. It's literally all about Amber. So let's see what Amber has to say when he's like, what about me? Let's see if she acts concerned at all, if she gives a fuck, if she stops and says, oh, I understand any type of compassion at all. Let's see. Do you believe all this, Amber? And ask if she really does believe all this. I will, because I, it's an unfortunate party. I can talk about all of this. Do you believe? So he asked her, oh, I went too far. Hold up. She seems to only care that her reputation might end up. Yes, incredibly average. You are correct. So then I guess her response is this. To him saying, "What about my integrity?" It's believable. I will, because I, it's an unfortunate party. I can talk about all of this. Do you believe all this, Emma? Oh, Do you believe all this? Oh, yeah, the fuck yes, yes. You believe? You believe I'm an abuser? Yes. You believe I'm an abuser? In May, in December, in in April. So he just asked her, do you believe all this, Amber? Do you believe I'm an abuser? And she said, yes, yes, fuck, in May, in December, in April. And I'm just thinking, aren't those all months and in incidents where you were caught doing some fucking shit? I, like, those dates are fucking familiar, but those are when you were popping off and putting your fucking hands on Johnny and leaving fucking marks and evidence. Yet you're going to sit on here when this man asks you if you actually believe he's an abuser. Say yes, and you're going to try to use the time frames of the same incidents in which you were hitting on him against him. It's so fucked. It's so deranged. And you hear how her voice goes up, and she's like, yes, yes. She's lying. She doesn't believe it. But she has to, like, keep up with this story. And I guess, you know, I have always heard, you know, certain people do this. Men do this when they cheat. Denial, 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 denial. You keep denying it, it never fucking happened. There's a lot of people who live by that shit. So I'm thinking for Amber, if I keep lying, 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 and keep lying and lying and never, like, give in on that, then eventually people are going to start believing it or, you know, it's just going to get to a point where I'm going to make Johnny settle or some shit. Maybe that's what she's fucking trying to do because that would be the easier route in all this shit. But no, no, she's, I really think she's going to take the route of just continuing to lie instead of having actual a, like a grain of salt worth of integrity and maybe being like you know I'm mentally insane I need to be put away somewhere I made all this shit up I apologize to Johnny his family to all these fucking people I'm gonna go away now you know maybe even sign something with Johnny you know give her a little check on the side and just go just fucking go but she doesn't want to do that because she wants to be in the limelight she wants the attention she wants to be the amber heard and now she's amber heard who was connected to johnny depp who beat her so that gives her even more status in this industry that she's in because she's still booking shit she's literally on a set or was just on a set of a gig somebody gave her. Do you believe you're an abuser? Do you believe you're an abuser? Johnny asked her straight up, do you believe you're an abuser? Do you believe you abused me physically? Johnny, 
Do you believe you have abused me physically? Amber has not responded yet. She did not respond to, do you believe you're an abuser? She did not respond. He then asked, do you believe you abused me physically? Typically, she's so fucking quick to talk back. She's so fucking quick to talk back. Let's see. Do I believe do there was a huge hesitation there. A long ass pause there. She says, Do I physically believe I mean, do I believe I physically abused you? And Johnny says, Yes. Well, not anymore, but I was 115, well, 115 pounds. I was 115 pound woman, and you're, as I have the capacity of you. This is the scariest shit I have ever heard. How this whole part of this conversation just went down of him asking her, Do you believe you're an abuser? Do you believe that you have ever abused me? And she pauses and thinks about what she is going to say to this man. Pauses and thinks about what she's going to say. And she chooses to say, do you know I'm 115 pounds? Well, not anymore. But I was 115 pounds, probably implying that she's lost weight through all this stress and shit because she's so fragile. Fucking bitch. Do you know I'm 115 pounds? Well, not anymore. But I was 115 pounds, almost 115 pound woman. And you're... She's going in to say that he's a bigger person, he's a bigger man. And who is possibly going to believe that she ever abused him and was the abuser? She did not answer the question. She did not say, answer... The question, do you believe that you have abused me? Do you believe? She did not answer the question. She went into the fact of my physical stature against your physical stature. Let's let her finish. That's not the question. That's not the question. Right. That's not the question. Answer the fucking question. That is not the question. She, Johnny... How are you still on the phone with this bitch? How are you giving her the time of fucking day? Have I ever been able to knock you off your feet or off your balance? She still has not answered the question. She's giving all these fucking scenarios that have or have not happened. And it's like, people are not going to believe that you were able that I was able to do that to you versus you doing it to me. Like, this is sick. This is sick. This is so sick. And if these ju the judge and jury hear this and they decide to let this woman off, I have no problem saying that I feel like that they were like fucking paid off. There's no integrity. Like there was some bullshit going on behind the scenes and they were paid off or they they just got some morally corrupt fucking people like Virginia is you know but like there is a lot of good people here I'm hoping they like I don't understand how in hearing this shit people still believe her and I'm gonna read a tweet that I found like a little bit after this that just really sums it all up for me perfectly and how I feel about this bullshit. But she's like, have I ever been able to knock you off your feet or off your balance? Oh my God. Oh my God. Like. You started these things. You started these things. And then she goes and gets in her shrill, hysterical voice. She's saying, you're going to get up on the stand and say 
She started it, really? She's literally mocking this man and saying nobody is going to believe that I fucking abused you. No one's going to believe that I was able to harm you in this way because I am so much smaller in stature than you are. No one's going to believe the Johnny Depp was abused by me, Amber Heard. This is like some gone girl fucking shit. Like this is the most they're going to make a movie out of this. They have to. They have to make a fucking movie out of this. And Amber cannot play herself. You're not getting that role, honey. We're going to find a real good actress to play your batshit crazy ass. But they have got to make a movie of this shit. Like, listening to this is unreal. Listening to this woman tell this man, I'm about to go in and make up all this fucking shit about you. And you know why I'm going to do it? Because no one's going to believe that you could ever be abused. Do you know how damaging that is? If they let this woman off after putting this out here and her saying this... It would make it fucking true. Damn, Johnny, I think she started it, really. I have never been able to overcome you. That's the difference between me and you. Why did you try? And that's the difference that's a whole He said, Why did you try? I have never been able to overpower you. Why did you try? I don't understand how Johnny's remaining so fucking calm through all of this. Like I I do not understand. Like, I don't understand. He said, why did you try? You tried to overpower me. We know she tried to overpower him. Throwing cans and shit. That's throwing... That's over trying to overpower somebody because my fist in a fucking can being thrown at my hand... At my head, I don't see the equal... That's overpowering to me. You want to throw a can at my head. I need a drink of my margarita to calm my nerves. I cannot believe this shit. I truly cannot believe this shit. Whole oh, world and then a jury and then a judge. See, it's a very, very big difference between me and you. Her shift in tone, at least. Wow. She really did that shit. She really, really, really did that shit. Wow. It is living her life like it's nothing. Bragging about a judgment or a ruling in this fucking case. Talking about some bring it on. I, th I really need, I think people really need to put this in perspective of what it would do to society and just the justice system if this woman gets off and it ends up winning. Like, I really need people to sit and actually think about that shit. Like, it's going to be so bad and we're going to see this shit happen more and more and more. I promise you. I promise you. You cannot all of this. Johnny starts to stand up for himself a bit more. As you can. cannot automatically. You cannot think that it's just my side. You're fucking killing me. You Your fucking, fucking people are trying to kill me. You've turned me into a. My boy has to go to school. My boy goes to school and has kids go. So your fucking dad's a wife beater? You don't think about that, Amber. You can hear the pain in this man's voice. Like, you're fucking killing me. You're killing me. His son is going to school. And his father... Everybody knows fucking Johnny Depp. His father... His kids are having to endure... Having their father being called a wife beater in school. Did she... I know she spent time with his kids like Lily... And the boy, I forget his name. I know she spent time with them. It wasn't apparently from eyewitness. It wasn't good times, really. But you spent time with them and then 
you go and do that to them and their father? Did she think about any of this? Did she care about any of this? Like, it's really concerning that this woman is walking around freely in the world. Like, when clearly she's so, so sick. Like, she's sick. She's mentally, she's a mentally ill person. To make up all this shit and do what she did, you're a mentally ill, like, sociopathic, like, fucked up person. Like, your mental is not all right. Yeah. And she says nothing about that, mind you. Once he says that about his kids and shit and how he's killing her and whatnot, she just goes right into talking about her family, getting death threats. Every single person is getting death threats and this, that, another. You did this, Amber. Like, you wanted this. This man gave you time and time again chance to do this privately, to just settle this and for it to be done with. So how the fuck are you going to get on this goddamn phone and complain about getting goddamn death threats when you put your family directly in this fucking situation? So suffer the fucking consequences, bitch. Suffer the consequences. Like, you put yourself in this. You did not have to do this this way. So deal with it. Don't get on his phone and complain about something that you decided to do. And even still in this phone call, you were given an option not to continue doing what it was that you were doing. And you still want to proceed. So fuck all this about your death threats. I don't give a fuck about Amber and or her family getting death threats. I could literally care less. I do not care. I, I, oh my God, I do not care. Every single person in my immediate circle of friends and family is getting also matters. I mean, your immediate circle of family and friends are some fucking frauds. All y'all. Frauds. Fraudulent. <laughs> frauds. Like, she only cares about her world. She gives no fucking care to Johnny losing his job, fucking up his reputation that he's built over the years, his kids being bullied at school and talked about. She could care. Like, how do you not have the capacity to, like, even say, oh my god, I'm sorry that you're going through that? Like, nothing? Like, she said nothing to that. Like, you have no care, compassion, concern at all for this man or his family. Why did you marry him? Money. You don't think I would. You think I would. Death threats? You people put this out. You people put this out. Why is security coming on the record in line? Then, like, why is it going to drop a proactive measure? So why did you or your divorce attorney get the um, file for divorce, period, at all? Second, why did she have to go against TMZ? Why, if you wanted it private, did uh, is TMZ being fed information literally by Laura Walker and Mark Seaver every step of the way? This shit is public record. The stuff is in public record, okay? Like, literally, the fucking divorce records are there for everybody to see. TMZ probably goes through it, like, daily multiple times a day to see who the fuck in Hollywood is getting divorced like calm the fuck down Amber please spare me give me a fucking break like oh my god your arrest records that's also fucking public bitch the rumors that you were a stripper alright give them I'd give him. That's it. I'd give him. I'll see you in court. No, I'll fucking see you in court. Yeah, now she's get. Johnny is like, I'm fucking done now. Now you're really trying to fucking accuse me of being low, dirty down, and giving, uh, leaking shit about you, leaking the rumors that you were a goddamn fucking stripper and all this goddamn shit. That's hurting his integrity. He's like, that's not who I am. He's done. He's done. He's done. He said, I, you know what? I'm done. I will see you in court. Fuck this shit. 
I'm done. I'm done. I'm so happy to hear this shit. I'm so... He has remained calm. He has been cool and fucking collected to this crazy ass, insane, batshit, crazy ass fucking bitch for video after audio after video after audio. And finally, it feels so good to hear him actually stand up for himself in some way because honestly he could do a lot fucking worse he could go in if he wanted to because words are just words i can fight with my fucking words all goddamn day long but i don't put my hands on you then i don't put my hands on you that's not a crime me to talk with my fucking words and word battle you is not a fucking crime you putting your fucking hands on me is a goddamn fucking crime. So just get better at it. Get better at your fucking words. And I needed to hear Johnny stand up for himself. I really did. Because I was I was really getting sick of her. Like, I really... That's it. I give up. I'll see you in court. No, I'll fucking see you in court. I will Don't fucking see you in court. I never shit. fucking said that. I never told anyone that. You fucking trusted me with that, and I've never fucking like, told anyone that. Like, who cares you were a stripper, Amber, and you know whatever. What? Amber, like, this is my, no, this is me. This is me saying, I tried. Everybody I was a stripper. thank you, and I will see you in fucking court. You don't want to fucking make nice nice? I'm trying. I'm right. trying. But you know what? Trying. You... I loved you for so many fucking years, but you know what? You didn't exist. She didn't. You don't exist. You're not there. Thank you. You're not there. You were Thank a you. fucking made up thing in my head. Yes. I, I can't believe you're doing this to me. And she's saying, stop, stop, because he's realizing that this image and fucking person that she made up it does not exist. Does not exist. And he said, I cannot believe you are doing this. I cannot believe you are doing this shit. I cannot believe I have loved this person in this made-up figment of my fucking imagination. I cannot believe you are doing this shit to me. And all she's saying is stop, stop, stop. Trying to use that sweet voice she probably wrapped him in with and twisted around her goddamn finger. Succubus. Stop. Can't believe it. Can't There's believe no it. There's no need to be cool on top of it. You've been... Oh my god, she's such a fucking manipulative cunt. Oh my god, I had to say it. How dare she say he does not have to be cruel. How dare, because how dare he finally stick up for himself and say that I am fucking done with your crazy fucking ass and you're gonna sit there and say you don't have to be fucking cruel when all you have been is cruel throughout all these fucking audios screaming at him, calling him names, belittling him, mocking him, manipulating, gaslighting him, lying in his fucking face, lying to other people putting your hands on him repeatedly three times within a month and a fucking half telling him he doesn't need to leave when you guys are in a physical fucking altercation you are a cruel violent conniving fucking bitch amber and everybody needs to fucking know it this is insane to hear with my own fucking ears and I am so upset that people still do not see what the fuck is happening. Been nothing but cool, and I'm going to right. court with you. I, I, I he listen. said, I, you've been nothing Stop. but cool. I can't believe it. There's no need to be cool on top of it. You've been nothing but cool, and I'm going to court with you. I, 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 I'm, I'm sitting here defending myself, and it makes you so angry. You have no. not let up. You keep blaming. No, what you right. just said. She will not what let you up. You're defending me. What you just I'm said to me. Myself. You're defending yourself against me about something I didn't fucking do. And I'm not going to fight with you because I know this shit lasts forever. Thank you. He's like, I'm not about to fucking fight with you. I'm not about to go in fucking circles with your bitch fucking ass and fight about something I know I did not do. And she's all in fucking hysterics talking about, I'm defending myself, this, that, another. I'm defending myself. He's saying, you will not let up. I have tried to make fucking nice nice with your fucking crazy ass. And you're still 
and she's getting fucking hysterical on the line because she's losing him. He's realizing he has woke the fuck up finally and the fucking magical whatever had a hold of him is being released. Finally, our man is getting it. I'm putting stuff in neck. I am defending myself. Excuse me, I'm doing it. I am defending it. myself. Excuse me. I'm defending myself. You on the phone right now and you're attacking me. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Can you give me one minute, please? May I have one minute, please? I'll be right back. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please don't And there it ends. He had to get the fuck up. He had to walk away off this bitch. He said, I need a moment because I think that it was overwhelming to him actually realizing that she's believing this. She's going forward with this story. She's very much put all this plan in motion step by step by step and has told him exactly what he's about to do to him, has told him nobody is going to believe him when he goes and tells people that she has started this shit. And when he says, do you believe you abused me? Do you believe you physically put your hands on me? She goes into saying about their stature and comparing the two of them and mocking the shit out of him, mind fucking him. And he's realizing, I cannot believe she's doing this. This this is not who I thought, this is not who I thought Amber was. Like, he is realizing it. Like, he really, in that whole moment, like, you, I just felt the energy of, like, realization and just being completely overwhelmed and just, like, a light bulb moment of, like, oh, my God. And he had to leave. And then she's going to say that he's attacking her and on top of that saying cruel things. You're attacking me and saying cruel things on top of that. Let's listen back. Please. Right. Can you give me one minute, please? May I have one minute, please? Be right back. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Which, can you give me one minute, please? May I have one minute, please? I'll be right back. So that's where we're going to end it. And you guys... <laughs> this is the saddest fucking thing I've ever heard. Like, this... It's so fucking sad. And Amber should be ashamed of herself. And I really need people to, like, wake the fuck up. Because this is unacceptable. This behavior is unacceptable. People want to say Will Smith's behavior is unacceptable, and it was. This is unacceptable. Completely unacceptable behavior. Okay, and so this is the tweet I kind of wanted to share with you guys by Lisa Gandhi. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'll link it below. It says, people who support Amber Heard. If police didn't change their mind, if hotel staff testimony didn't change their mind, if surveillance showing no injuries didn't change their mind, if eyewitness to her violence didn't change their mind, if I've witnessed to no injury didn't change their mind, if audios of her admitting to multiple acts of violence didn't change their mind, if her saying she can't promise she won't get physical again didn't change their mind, if her changing stories didn't change their mind, if her witness changing stories didn't change their mind, if body cam footage didn't change their mind, if her four attempts to dismiss the case didn't change their mind, if her fight for confidentiality didn't change their mind, if her fight to suppress her charity donations or lack thereof didn't change their mind. If injuries inconsistent with her claims didn't change their mind. 
if disappearing injuries didn't change their mind, if lack of medical records didn't change their mind, if corrupted digital data and edited pics didn't change their mind, then there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that will change it because they don't want their minds changed. Because this isn't about the truth for them or their idiots. And I just thought that that thread, quite frankly, summed it all up. I keep asking myself, why do people fucking not, like, still support her bitch ass? And that summed it up perfectly. So this has been a very long video. Um, if you've made it this far, think about liking, think about subscribing. And I will be back in another video, probably about the sister Whitney, because she annoys me. But, um, yeah, I hope that you guys have a great start to the rest of your week. It is Monday. And um, have a lovely Tuesday, you know, wherever you may be. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later. Bye.